I'm sorry I look really bad right now. I don't have any makeup on hardly. And I don't know, it's just been a long day. I feel kind of sick too, so. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so I just want to say that I remembered some things I left out that was in the show. I still probably haven't said all of them, but I just remembered some and thought I would share them. So, um, also there was this one that he did, um, Chris Angel did, called Kayella to Life, and, um, it was like this painting that came down, and all these flowers, um, in the background were there, and there was this box, and you could see completely underneath it, it there was no mirrors, nothing, and so the painting went, went on top of this, like, table, and, um, Kayla, the girl with the short blonde hair, she, uh, well, like, really, really, really blonde hair, practically white, she, um, 
you could see her hand was coming up from the picture and um, she ended up coming through the picture and you could totally see that there was nothing underneath there was no way she could she could have come up I mean it was amazing um, I think there's a video on one of his mind freak episodes that shows Kayla to life so I'll probably post that one of the videos um, so yeah and then he did Enigma and that one's really really hard to describe so I'll, I'll also post a video of that on one of these videos because um, it's on the Mind Freak episode I'm so sad that I believe is over that it's over but it was a great experience and it was fun and I plan on going again and um, I got a whole bunch of merchandise I got this shirt, this necklace, and I got um, the Mind Freak kit, the 30 bucks one, <laughs> and I've been doing some Mind Freaks with that, and um, Secret Revelations, um, I love that book, I'm almost, I'm like halfway done, and I just got it like yesterday, or the day before, and, um, and five shirts, two pairs of shorts, Chris Angel shorts. Um, like I said, this, this necklace, and I think that's it, I'm not sure though. But, um, yeah, and then there's, okay, he did, uh, he also did one where he, I'm trying to think of it, <laughs> I totally forgot, um, That's not good. <laughs> um, I will record so it when I think trip, of it. <laughs> to Las Vegas to see Believe Chris Angel. I brought a CD, a two's track CD, of songs I wrote for Chris Angel. And um, the first one is called World of Illusion. And it was basically about wanting to know what goes on in Chris's mind and wanting to be a part of his world of illusion and understanding it and um and everything cuz he's just so creative his mind is just what goes on in his mind is amazing and the second one was called Forever Loyal and it's just saying like I'll forever be a Chris Angel loyal if you guys don't know what that means it's like an ultimate Chris Angel fan and it's like just this fan club called the loyals and uh yeah yeah it's pretty cool so um so yeah I um I brought a two track CD for him and a letter a very personal letter um and for him and I gave them I went up to the front desk of the believe people who were selling tickets and stuff and I, we asked them, me and my family asked them where we could, who was, who we should give it to, to give to Chris, to make sure he'd get it. And she said this girl named Olga, she was the manager, and, um, so we go up to Olga, right before the performance, and she said she would be sure he got it, she would give it to his, I don't know, someone who works for him, but she said she'd be sure he got it. So, I was pretty excited, and I've been waiting for maybe a possible tweet from him, but I haven't gotten one yet. <laughs> um, but Chris has tweeted me before, which is pretty cool. He's, yeah, yeah, I freaked out. But yeah, anyways, it was great. <laughs> um, so hopefully he'll get the time to listen to the two-track CD, and, um... To read the letter. Okay, so I thought of some more. <laughs> okay, just so you guys know, I'm making these mostly so that I'll always remember the trip. Um, I'm not expecting um, a lot of people to watch these videos. I mean, I guess it's kind of boring with all the video I've taken, <laughs> but I'm doing this mostly so I'll remember the trip going on. So yeah, again, I'm sorry I look like crap. I just don't feel good today, and I hardly have any makeup on, and, yeah. So, anyways, so I remembered that Chris, there was, like, this dinosaur, this, like, big, like, dinosaur thing walking on the stage, and, uh, 
it was kind of like a play sort of thing. Um, Chris and Maestro and, um, um, some of the other color characters were running away from it. And, um, they're, like, screaming and stuff. And, uh, and Chris, um, somehow, like, vanished. And then, um, the, he took off, and then, um, the dinosaur took off the, uh, its head. And Chris was inside the dinosaur costume, just like that. First he was running away from the dinosaur, and then he became the dinosaur. It was pretty dang cool. So, or whatever creature it was, it looked like a dinosaur to me. But, <laughs> and then, there was one where, um, um, Chris's, um, rabbit, Lucky, he, um, he was standing, um, he was like a, he was like, just like animated on the screen or whatever, um, the big screen on the stage, and, uh, there was an illusion that the, um, rabbit on the TV was pulling Chris into the screen with him, and then, um, you could see only black on the screen, and there was blood flying everywhere, blood, and I guess, um, the rabbit was hurting Chris or whatever and, um, pulling Chris apart. And then the screen, um, went up and you could see, um, this, like, like this giant doll of Chris and pieces of his body parts were laying everywhere. And, uh, they tried to put the pieces together of Chris, of the doll. And, um, they... They put him in this, like, they put the doll thing in this, like, little cage thing around, around, um, the body, and, um, it rised, and then smoke came, and then suddenly it was Chris, the real Chris, and he was put together. So that was pretty amazing. So, yeah, uh, I can't think of any more right now, but it was the best experience. I mean, I had so much fun, and... I'm Chris Angel Oil, in case any of you are wondering, um, if anyone watches this, I'm Chris Angel Oil, so that's why I'm freaking out about it, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, I'm Miss Mind Freak, of course, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, follow me, okay, and if I remember anything else, I will record it, of course, because these videos are practically for me, so, yeah, okay, bye guys.